Shisa, Dalawa, Tatlo, Fat, Anim, Pito, Walo, Sham, Zapo. Oh, hello everyone. Mabuhai. And happy Sabbath. I was just counting、uh, my proceeds from the Sari Sari store this week so I can pay my tithe. You know, today is a special day. Not only is today the Sabbath, Filipinos around the world are celebrating a special holiday. In fact, yesterday, on June 12th, Filipinos around the world celebrated the Philippine Independence Day, which, which commemorates the Declaration of Independence from Spain in 1898. Have you been to the Philippines? I'm sure you've seen photos or you've heard stories from your parents about the crystal clear water, the white sand beaches, the picturesque rice paddies, and even the funny looking jeepneys. Regardless, here are some interesting facts. Did you know that the first president of the Philippines was a man named Emilio Aguinaldo? Not this one. Or that one. This one. He was a general and the president of the then revolutionary government during the time of the Declaration of Independence. In fact, the declaration was signed in his home, and today his home is、um, immortalized on the five peso bill. Another interesting tidbit is the official formal attire of the Philippines is called the barong, similar to what I'm wearing today. The barong is the official formal attire of the president, and you'll see it worn at formal events such as weddings and all sorts of government events. The barong has a unique history. It is officially known as the baro ang Tagalog, which means dress of the Tagalog. Today we just call it the barong Tagalog or barong for short. Barongs come in a wide range of styles, shapes, and colors. This one is a plain shirt sleeve variety. There are colored ones like this one. This one is a short sleeve purple ombre variety. It looks quite nice, don't you think? I also have a special barong that this, the designer says that it's made out of the finest fibers around. It's so fine that it reflects the light all over the place. It's my go to barong during hot weather. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, this barong is very light and airy. The light reflects everywhere. It's just almost transparent. I hope you like it. It's my favorite barong. Have you ever wondered how barongs are made? The fiber of your barong is made out of pineapple, piña, or abaca fibers. It's an interesting process. Let's take a quick look at how it's made. This type of extraction is only done in Calibuac clan because of the type of pineapple that grows there. The red Spanish pineapple. Its leaves are long with little spikes along its edges. We soak the leaves for 10 to 14 days to soften it and then start hand scraping it using a soft plate. By hand scraping, the outer layer of the leaf is removed, exposing the fibers. They gather these fibers and leave them under the sun to dry. They then start knotting each to form a continuous line or thread of pinya fiber. Afterwards, they warp or spin this long thread of pinya fiber to prepare it for hand weaving or hand looming. For this type of fiber, they use a traditional hand loom made from strings, wood, and bamboo. Didn't you find that interesting? As you can see, the fibers are naturally transparent. There is also a plant in nature that's called the honesty because the seeds start out green, but as it matures, the pod becomes transparent, and that's where it gets the name from. Today, we're going to be talking about transparency or other, also known as honesty. Why is honesty linked to transparency? Being transparent. Or see through has long been a metaphor of being honest, which means others can see through our hearts and our facade that we put up. And we are upfront about our emotions. We do not cloud or distort the truth. And, it, and we make it easy for others to, to see through all that we put up front. God considers honesty and transparency so important that He even put it in the Ten Commandments. We can find it in the Ninth Commandment, which states, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. The thing about lying is that no matter how good you are at it, to God, the truth will always be transparent. Just like how you could see the seeds of the honesty plant or my shirt underneath my barong, God will always see your true thoughts and intentions. 
The Bible says, man may look at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart of the man. Jesus said that those who are honest and pure in heart will see God. As always, honesty is the best policy. So, please remember to be as truthful as you can to your mom and dad, your brothers and sisters, to your teachers, and to everyone around you. Thank you for listening, and remember, honesty is the best policy. Adabli is not going to pray for us. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us this beautiful Sabbath day. And thank you for everything you've given us. We pray that you continue to keep us safe and keep us happy during these different times. We pray that you help us to be truthful and honest and help us to be a shining light for you in this world. Again, we thank you for everything and we love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. Hello everyone. It's time for our birthday shoutouts. This week, we are celebrating Rianne's birthday, which is tomorrow on June 14th. Mom and Dad have a message for you. Our dearest Rianne, as you turn seven, we want to wish you a happy birthday from your mommy, daddy, Brayden, and the rest of your family and friends. You are very special to us and we love you very much. May the Lord continue to give you strength, guide you, and protect you in all that you do. Love your family and friends. Happy birthday, Rianne. If your child has a birthday coming up soon, please message and send pictures to birthdays at mountzion.ca. Thank you and have a great day.